Scientists might have just created consciousness by growing brains in a jar and connecting them to a computer made from stem cells that were stimulated in a special way to form neural tissue, which grew and eventually formed structures and even brainwave activities similar to that of a premature human baby. They then hooked up this brain into a computer, connecting it into a virtual world where it learned to play Pong completely from scratch. I want you to realize what this means. Like, this isn't a computer bot that was pre-programmed to know exactly how to play the game. That's easy. It's an organic brain that they grew themselves that was given Pong with no instructions and it just taught itself how to play. Which is honestly nothing new. That's just AI. But this is organic AI, which happens to learn quicker and is also more energy efficient than traditional AI. It learned to play Pong in about 10 to 15 rallies when a regular computer AI would take around 5,000. Albeit the computer AI can simulate those 5,000 rallies much quicker, but that takes a lot more computing power, which is sort of our main bottom neck with AI at the moment energy. This is organoid intelligence. Take human brain cells, grow them in a petri dish, and then use computers to train them just like AI. Naturally, there are ethical concerns rising as there is surmounting evidence showing us that these are conscious, like a human. Even the scientists working on it themselves admit these organoids are sentient. They took it a step further and tested out these organoid brains inside real physical robots, feeding them the sensory input of everything the robot experiences. And since the computer chip running it is organic brain matter, this technically by definition is a cyborg. Then there are companies like Final Spark that let you rent server space on these organoid brains which essentially act like organic CPUs. You can even see live streams of the brain computers you're renting out. And now this next part right here, what they're doing here might actually prove simulation theory. 